This update brought to you by the new Hilux. Awaken your unbreakable. Hello, coming up on GWN7 News, it's Budget Day in the West. Tonight, the key points from the Treasurer's fourth state budget, and we'll talk live with the Premier, including that hint about the hard border being closed well into next year. Details are next. This is GWN7 Local News with Noel Brunning and Shauna Willis. Treasury forecasts a billion dollar surplus despite the damage caused by COVID-19. The new Esperance jetty reaches a major milestone and should be finished by March. A remarkable new way of checking the health of sea turtles in Ningaloo. And some good rainfall recordings overnight to the southwest. Just how much? Coming up. It's now 5.30 and we're live across Western Australia. Good evening. First tonight, Western Australia has recorded a $1.2 billion surplus in this year's state budget. The budget was based on the assumption that the hard border will stay closed until April 1st. But the Treasurer was quick to reassure West Aussies that the decision when to reopen the border will be based on health advice. All smiles for a post-COVID pre-election budget. Remaining in the black with a $1.2 billion surplus forecast for 2020 to 2021. This budget is focused on keeping Western Australia safe and strong. COVID-19 has had a massive impact on the state's finances. Megan Birch, GWN 7 News. Now we'll go live to Parliament House where GWN7 News reporter Megan Birch is joined by Premier Mark McGowan to talk through some of the main points of the budget for Country WA. Megan. Thanks, Noel. It's been a very historic state budget today, the first in recent history to deal with a pandemic. Premier, thank you very much for joining us. Treasury put together today's budget on the basis that the hard border will be in place until April 1st. Why did they take that approach and how likely is it that that will happen? Well, it's a planning assumption Treasury does, but the border will come down when it's safe and when the health advice says that's the appropriate time. So that will either be sometime this year or I expect sometime next year, one or the other. Uh, but the important thing about the border is it keeps our state safe and strong. It Premier, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Megan. Noel, back to you. OK, Megan, thank you very much. A 37-year-old Albany man has been jailed after a high-speed police chase ended in a crash which left his passenger with serious injuries. Winston Clive Williams drove at 142 kilometres an hour in a 60 zone on March 13 after failing to stop for police. He crossed onto the other side of Ulster Road while overtaking and hit a power pole which brought down live lines. The district court judge said his passenger, who now relies on a walking stick, was extremely fortunate not to have been killed. Williams was jailed for four years and six months and had his licence disqualified for four years. He is eligible for parole. Work on the new Esperance jetty has hit the halfway mark despite some setbacks. The Shire says the new jetty's design is very similar to the old one that at work is on track to finish by March. A milestone for a project a long time coming. Work on the new Esperance jetty has hit the halfway mark. To celebrate, the Shire went on site to take a look. Stephen Thomas, GWN 7 News. Shauna has the latest on our weather now in the southwest. A bit of rain last night. Ah, it certainly did. Thanks, Noel. The showers came through with a front rather fast and furious, but that front weakened quite rapidly in the early hours. And so by mid-morning, the sunshine was reappearing. It's been another very warm day to our far north, the trough from the Kimberley to the Pilbara, and another we can see here developing through those central areas. WA's highest maximum, 40 degrees. That was at Fitzroy Crossing, 37 for Kununurra, Broomreach, 35, 30 for both Caratha and Newman. Where it was a very cool six degrees there overnight. Drives through the Gascoigne, 24 in Carnarvon. Drizzle for Geraldton this afternoon, reaching 25. A warm and gusty winds across the goldfields. Kalgoorlie Boulder, 26 degrees. Now, skies mostly clearing further to the south. It reached 19 in Bustleton and Bridgetown. Afternoon drizzle at the Albany Airport, also 19. Air sprints went from 10 into 20. And our cold spot overnight was Eucla, 4 degrees. Now, let's have a look at where all that rain fell. El Questro 
in the Kimberley has recorded 44 millimetres. That's up until 9am. Then South Harvey, 39 millimetres. Most of the showers in the southwest fell in just a couple of hours last night. We had 18 mils for Bustleton and Bunbury recorded 16 mils. Now there is a chance of some light showers again south tomorrow. I'll have your forecast right after sport. Thanks, Shauna. Coming up, the latest technique to monitor the health of sea turtles. And it turns out that the secret really is at the cutting edge. Stay in touch 24-7 at gwn7.com.au. The Department of Health has reported two new cases of COVID-19 overnight. The confirmed cases are a man and a woman, both in their 30s, who are returned overseas travellers in hotel quarantine. WA now has 11 active cases. However, the state has now has 180 days without any community transfer of the virus. The state government has invested $2 million into grain research. The funds will support three projects led by the Australian Export Grains Innovation Centre and will target trading channels for new oat, rice and noodles, along with whole grain wheat foods and bakery products. In Asia, if WA manages to capture just 10% of wheat markets, it could lead to new businesses involving 2 million metric tonnes of grain, bringing in an extra $600 million a year. Sea turtles in Ningaloo have become the subject of new research with scientists analysing their nail clippings. And it turns out that the turtle pedicures can tell the scientists a lot about the diet and their lifestyle. It's the manicure that's considered cutting-edge science in turtle research. As part of a joint research project with BHP and the CSIRO at Ningaloo Reef, scientists are clipping turtles' nails to analyse what they eat. Coming up in sport, the build-up to the South West Footy Grand Final. Can Bustleton get the better of minor premiers Bunbury? The West Coast Eagles today re-signed three superstars for the coming season, headlined by Northampton forward Josh Kennedy. He, along with Shannon Hearn, committed to another season, with both set to turn 34 next, uh, 30, yes, 34 next year, while star wingman Andrew Gaff has signed on until at least 2024. But over East, a rising regional star may be weighing up his options. Albany's Jordan Clark is reportedly out of favour with Geelong after a frustrating season that saw him play only three games because of injury and form. In southwest football, Bustleton are hoping they'll break a five-year premiership drought by beating Bunbury this weekend. And they scoped out the opposition last weekend when Bunbury took on Collie. After a week off, Bustleton are ready to swoop away with the 2020 premiership title. Confident they know how to beat minor premiers Bunbury. It's been a huge week for Denmark's Callum Lane, who was invited to attend the WA National Draft Combine and played in his first WAFL Colts Grand Final. The Ruckman hopes to still call Western Australia home come December 7. At 205 centimetres tall, Denmark's Kalen Lane was born to be a star in the sporting world. Ronald Willis is back next with a look at the forecast for your place. And then in Seven News, stalked by a great white, a pro surfer's chilling case of deja vu. Tonight's weather brought to you by Building for Tomorrow, because every construction sign is a sign of great things to come. 
Hello and a very happy birthday tonight to Doris Butler of Mora on reaching 95 years. We hope you've had a wonderful day. Here's the forecast now for your place. A weak high developing to the south, so it's mostly sunny skies with just a chance of a light shower sitting southwest of Mandurah down through to Albany, while north showers and thunderstorms over the central and eastern Kimberley down into the interior. The last weekend of the school holidays, it is looking pretty good. Chance of a light shower near the western south coast otherwise. Clear skies and mild to warm temperatures. Possible thunderstorms, though, to parts of the Kimberley, eastern goldfields and down through to the Euclid. Sunday, a similar forecast, possibly unsettled to the inland north and far southeast. And there is the chance of some coastal mist to the western south coast. Won't be much at all. Uh, we start next week very seasonal to our north with thundery showers for the inland Pilbara, parts of the Gascoyne and goldfields as well. While south, expect sunshine and temperatures will be on the rise as well. We've got some warm maximums north tomorrow. Thunderstorms 39 the top in Wyndham. Kununurra is looking at 37. Derby gets a very sunny 37. 34 in Port Hedland and 31 for Caratha. 32 and sunny for Exmouth. Now some fresh morning winds to the Gascoyne. A sunny 26 the top there for Carnarvon. Reaching 33 in Mekathara. Sunshine right through the central west tomorrow. 24 in Geraldton and 29 for Morrowa. Partly cloudy to further south. Slightly Light chance of a late shower, 19 for Bunbury and Bustleton. Albany also 19 tomorrow, reaching 21 though in Wagen. And sunny with light winds right across the wheat belt. A warm 28 for Southern Cross. Mostly sunny and some gusty winds to the southeast. 24 in Lake Grace for Esperance, 23 degrees. And a warm Friday for the Goldfields, Kalgoorlie 31, 33 there in Laverton. Boating conditions look pretty fresh, 15 to 25 knots off the Pilbara coast west and south right down through to the Gascoyne there tomorrow. On western waters, a swell to four metres, moderate winds freshening to 20 knots, sitting north though of Lancelin and conditions moderate for much of the southern coastline, strengths reaching 20 knots off the Eucla. Or sunshine, 25 the top there in Sydney tomorrow, while Perth gets a partly cloudy, 22. Good night. Thank you, Shauna. That is GWN 7 News for this Thursday evening. We'll be back later with news and weather updates. For news at any time, you can go to our website, gwn7.com.au, or follow our stories on social media. Seven News from Perth is next. More on the budget coming up from our team right around the state. Good night, Western Australia.